Now, your news on the go. It's 7.53 and 30 degrees on the local station. Here's your news on the go this morning. Starting with the pandemic, Onondaga County reporting its 10,000th coronavirus case this weekend. According to the state health department and the governor's office, Onondaga becomes just the eighth county outside of New York City to cross that threshold. And staying in Onondaga County, 136 new cases were reported yesterday. In a tweet, County Executive Ryan McMahon breaking down those new numbers. 85 cases coming from community spread, 4 from travel, and 8 from nursing homes. The other 39 cases are still under investigation. The county reporting a 2.4% positivity rate Saturday with 132 hospitalizations and 22 neighbors fighting for their lives in the ICU. And a plan is in place to start coronavirus testing this week in Onondaga County Schools. County Executive Ryan McMahon releasing the first 30 schools in Phase 1 and the next 27 in Phase 2. That full list is available at localsyr.com. And because the schools are in the orange zone, they'll need to test every student and staff member if they want to stay open for in-person learning. Registration is required ahead of time and each district will send out a link. And the Mexico Academy and Central School District is making the switch to online learning as 60 students and staff are now under a quarantine. A letter and robocall sent to families says effective immediately, everyone will learn from home until Friday, December 11th. And in the past week, four staff members and six students have tested positive for COVID-19. Still, there have been no known cases of transmission within the school buildings. Jim. Well, Adrian, here's a look at the weather. We start you off with a beautiful shot looking over uh, downtown Syracuse. The sun now has been up for more than a half hour. It's a chilly start as we give you a look at temperatures across the area. There are spots east of Syracuse that are in the mid-20s right now. Back to the west, temperatures above freezing. And I think with a good deal of sunshine today, we're going to be dealing with temperatures that are in the low 50s. So get out and enjoy it where they're going to go cut the uh, tree down for the holidays, or if you're just going to do a little work in the yard or take a walk. Here's your forecast beyond that. Uh, Sunday across the area, we've got sunshine throughout New York State. Here's the planning outlook. Tomorrow, a much different look and feel to the day. We've got rain. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 40s, maybe touching 50 degrees in the evening. And then early next week, uh, as we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, rain and eventually snow showers. Not going to see much in the way of sunshine, Adrian, I think, as we go through the week. Only seeing the one's sun on the graphic For today makes me really want to cherish it. You should get out there right now, maybe. It's the same to you. Okay, we'll do. <laughs>